quilts and I'm here back with the honoring Nancy Zeman quilt that I'm working on I am now on the month of March I have January's block here and then here is February's block the links to this block of the month will be found down in the description box so please look down there if you would like to participate in this block of the month for the month of March we'll be working on this particular block and the name of this block is duck and duckling as I said she's using blocks that are your traditional blocks that are out in the quilt market the one thing I do notice about her blocks and I'm trying to get up close so you can see it is she's making this block so that it's five pieces across as well as five pieces down so she's making a 25 patch and I am going to be condensing the seams because I don't like when seams change when I'm using any kind of a print where you can see the seam line. So therefore, what I'm going to be cutting for this quilt top is I'm going to be using my triangulations to piece my four half square triangles. So I have my paper already cut to make four of those. And then for these this area here, these are other half square triangles, but then she's got a square here. I'm going to combine that red piece into one large half square triangle. So I'm going to cut two six and seven eighth inch squares, and then I'm going to cut it once diagonally to yield my four pieces. And then for these little white pieces that I need, I need to cut four three and seven eighths inch squares and cut once diagonally. The final pieces I'll need are these pieces here. I'm going to combine this. She used two three and a half inch squares. I'm going to cut one piece that's a three and a half by six and a half. So that I need four of those. And then for my center, I will need a three and a half inch square. So I do have my pieces cut. Let me zoom in. So this is my center piece. I'm using kind of like a swirly, hairy, Santa Claus beardy kind of white fabric. These will be my rectangles. And for my large half square triangles, I'm using this fabric here. And then I am repeating fabrics for my half square triangle units and then I have my paper there to be pinned on to that. So again, I showed you in the January's video how I use triangle on a roll paper. So you can go to that video to see what's being done with that. And then I will come back once I have stitched my half square triangles. I'm back and I have all of my half square triangles sewed and then I have also placed all of my block pieces in order according to the block placement on the diagram. So the first thing we want to do is we want to sew our half square triangles that are singular that are not pieced to this half square triangle unit. And so I just want to turn that right sides together and I want to stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down and you want to do this to all four of your units now to save some time I have gone ahead and done that for us and here is that unit right here so let me turn it the right way so this is the half square tri triangle unit here and now I want to add this other half square triangle right underneath. So I would flip this up and sew one quarter of an inch. And again, you want to do this to all four of your units. And I'm just going to put my pieces back on the board so I don't lose their order. 
And then once you've done that, you'll end up with this unit right here. Now at this point, you can go ahead and trim the dog ears that are hanging over your block. And then we're going to put these two pieces right sides together. So a one quarter inch diagonal seam and you will end up with your block unit as such. And then I'll show you on the back where I have trimmed my little dog ears away. So once I do that to all four of my sections here, then it's just basic block preparation of putting this together. And I actually think this is faster to sew than sewing a 25 patch. So I will go ahead and sew this completed block together and show you the finished block in just a bit. So I'm back with my completed block. And again, these blocks end up 15 inches instead of 12 inches finished. So just keep that in mind. So I will add a photo at the end of all three of my blocks and I'll see you in part four. Thank you. 